In this video I'm going to show you a way to get a theme for Silver Stripe CMS and uh, if you log into silverstripe.org and then click on extensions and then click on add beauty of with themes and you'll see there's a lot of themes down here that you can download and then upload onto your silver stripe uh, I'm going to go for a theme called bright side and that's this one down here click on download and once you downloaded a theme you need to unzip the file and the file we should have but three folders. Uh, the main one is the uh, bright side one that's the theme itself the other one is the forum and the blog and I think it's e-commerce. Uh, once you downloaded it uh, and unzipped uh, you would have it on your computer you need to log uh, use the FTP to upload it on the theme. Now I have a WSFTP program pro that I use. Uh, connect onto the server and then look for that right side and this is the theme that I just unzipped and then on public HTML you click on public HTML and then I have a folder that's that I'm using for demonstration purposes silver stripe so click on that file if you have it in root then you should have it in a root I have it on a, in a folder and this is uh, my silver stripe program click on themes and this is where you would upload those f folders if you're going to use the blog e-commerce or forum then you can upload them if you're not going to use them then you don't need to. Uh, the bright side is only one that's the main theme. Once it's uploaded we can close this one close the FTP and uh, go on to our cPanel. Log into cPanel and then click on legacy file manager if you have it in root then you would have it in a root but in my case I have it in a folder so I have to click on silver stripe and then click on my site and then config PHP and then click on edit file edit and this is your configuration file for your silver stripe we need to change the name down here uh, you, if you have whatever f f uh, team you're using would be down here but change it to the team that you just downloaded it and once you've done that save the file once you save the file you should be good to go but uh, sometimes you have to flush it to get the catch to get a new theme in my case I have already done it but if you type in question mark flush equals to one that will activate the new theme uh, it would be a blank screen when you change the theme and then when you flush it it will activate the theme now bright side is the one that theme we have but in this side in this one you have see this header down there if you want to change this you need to go into your C panel and then go up one directory again 
and go into themes uh, bright side and then template and then page SS this is your template main template for the silver stripe Uh, this is where you change that logo. It says H1 ID logo and then bright. So change that to whatever you want and it's making it green on the side. Uh, bright would be the CSS color that's default. But in this one it's asking for a class equals to green for the side and then off it leaves the same color as bright and then gray for life and then you put your slogan here and save the file that will say uh, change this down here see the gray color that is life and then green color that was side and bright off and your slogan would be here I hope this video has helped you on uh, how to upload a theme and then change the header down here